Sometimes there's a need to be able to evaluate the biodiversity in a particular area. In order to do this, we use what is known as a diversity index. A diversity indices uses what is known as species evenness and species richness to be able to quantify the biodiversity in an area. Species richness is the number of groups of genetically related individuals in a site or area. This is simply a count of the number of species that are present. Species evenness is the proportion of species present in an area, or how close in numbers each species is in an area. This may bring up the question of why do we want to measure the biodiversity or diversity index in a particular area? It is generally perceived that high biodiversity is good for the health of an ecosystem. Diverse communities are believed to have increased ability, increased productivity, and increased resistance to invasion or other disturbances. So it's helpful to be able to quantify the diversity of an area or of an ecosystem so that we can evaluate its overall health and compare it to other ecosystems. Let's take a look at an example of what might happen in a habitat that has a large variety of plants. In this example, we're gonna look only at the plants in an ecosystem rather than all of the different species that could be present to help simplify the situation. So a habitat with a large variety of plants should be able to provide forage to lots of different insects and species. This same habitat will have an increased level of stability because collectively they should be more likely to survive things such as drought or insect and disease outbreaks. This should have an impact on the entire ecosystem because if some plants are able to survive these events, then the soil will be protected and will not be eroded as easily. The large variety of plants will allow for different ones to contribute in different ways to the ecosystem. For example, nitrogen fixers will be able to improve the soil whereas plants with deeper roots will be able to pull nutrients from deep underground up to the surface. It's also more likely for plants to be able to work together in what is called commensalism, where one species benefits but no harm is brought to the others. The large variety of the plants makes it so that all of the niches in the ecosystem are filled. This makes the ecosystem as a whole less susceptible to invasive or non-native species. All of these factors combine to the reasoning that it's better to have an ecosystem with a high biodiversity than a low biodiversity. Which again brings about the need for a diversity index or a way that we can quantify how diverse an ecosystem is.